in this lesson we discuss about the sum of the functions in the array so <coughs> examples are using that function we can find the how many elements in the array and uh, what is the key portion of particular value and also we can find the sum of the arrays array elements and also we can find we can arrange the values in the ascending and the descending orders these are the we can do the these operations in the arrays example program is i declared the one runtime array sorry not a runtime array uh, simple array here in this uh, array this array contains the four uh, elements using the dim keyword i declared the array this is the uh, it, it contains the four elements four values uh, and uh, i declared the for looping purpose i declared the one one more variable here and output purpose i declared the one variable here so all are the integer values so first i initialize the eval function eval uh, eval operator i initialize the arrays arrays to array to the values first val first value is 10 121 second one is 121 third is 111 one, fourth is 15 so first we discuss the what is the use of first we discuss about the how to uh, the how to <coughs> we can display the values in the ascending and descending order using the sort a keyword using the sort a keyword we can uh, initialize the you can uh, display the values in the ascending order mm. in this uh, uh, i read the in the calculation specification sort a is the one so it is the one operation or one uh, function to arrange the values in ascending order so sort a and what is the factor to is the our array name here what is the our array name array name is the a1 so first compare this program call this program our array elements are uh, ascending in the ascending order so if you want to display these array elements in the descending order at the array declaration time you mention this uh, sort a keyword and also you mention uh, here in the array declaration declaration time use the descend descend keyword d e s e and it descend d i s e and it descend d e s c e and d descend keyword in the error declaration time Okay, so compare this program. And now the values are displayed in the descending order. 121, 111, 15 and 10. Like this way, we can ascending and descending the values in the array. So and uh, one more uh, el uh, using the elem elem element percentile elem using this uh, function we can find the how many uh, numbers how many what is the size of that uh, element okay i am commenting this one and also i am commenting this one So, here, 
percentile elm percentile elm gives the size of that area using the display function uh, we are displaying that uh, out out is the one out contains the what is the size of that uh, array file what is the, in, in this program what is the size of array the size of array is the four Again, we discuss about the first now. We discuss about the uh, percentile lookup. Using the percentile lookup function, we can find the using the percentile lookup we can find the what is the um, particular key where the key name in the array in this uh, you we know the 121 value so what is the 120 value 121 value contains in the second element second key okay second element so you want to find that uh, element number using the percentile lookup function here in this out what is the value of this out here the out so out percentile lookup 121 this is the what our array name a1 is the our array name file one 121 contains in the second keyword okay you uh, store this uh, array in the ascending order now what is the position of this element position of that value the position of uh, that value is 121 first position so this is displayed in the ascending order so first uh, first 121 is displayed so that 121 is uh, contained in the uh, key 1 so this is the percentile lookup function and now no, we will discuss it about the export percentile export the percentile export function gives the uh, the sum of the uh, values in the array so our array contains the four values four uh, values so uh, it gives the sum of that uh, values okay export out equal to percentile export so this is the sum of the all numbers in the array so these are the functions in the rpg le array functions in the rpg le these are the rpg le array functions uh, we discussed in this program about the sort a using the sort a we can sort the uh, sort a function we can sort that uh, sort a keyword we can sort the arrays in the uh, elements in the array using the percentile elm function we can uh, find the um, how many the size of that area percentile lookup function we can find the we know the value of the uh, second uh, you know what is value of that array uh, in which key it is associated with using the percentile lookup in this percentile lookup uh, this is the our value and uh, colon uh, a1 is our um, array name Us and uh, using the percentile export we can, we can find the uh, some of the values in the array.